Today we are playing some advanced slap flicks. Hey guys, welcome to Tone One's Guitars and Basses. Today we are looking at some advanced slap grooves and slap licks that you can maybe add to your slap vocabulary. I'm going to show you how to play them and also where you can get inspiration for certain techniques. Before we start, I want to tell you that I spent a lot of hours, weeks and months to get these techniques down and I'm still practicing, so please don't be frustrated if you don't get it right away. So let's play the first lick, it sounds like that. I don't know exactly when I learned it and where, but I think it was inspired by Ida Nielsen. She's a phenomenal player, so check out this video. Okay, let's break this lick down. It is a really short lick, but I want to split it into two parts. Let's start with the second part, because I think that's a part that you already know how to do it. So it's just a thump or a slap and a pop or a plug, whatever you call it. So it's just... So this was the second part. And the first part sounds like that. So it's just a slap with the opening string, then a left hand slap, and then another slap but with a dead note. So you have got open E string, slap, and then a slap with that note. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Also, you can start really slow and then speed it up because I think it's really difficult to coordinate right and left, so you're not too early with your left hand. And now we're putting the first and the second part together. You just have to add the plug at the end um, from the first part. So it is one, two, three, four. Slap, left hand slap, dead note slap, and the plug at the end. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then maybe when you feel comfortable, try to speed it up a little bit. And at the end, it should sound like that. And I will give you a musical context how you can use that. Before we check out the next lick, I want you to listen to this clip. Let's have a closer look to the lick he's playing at the end of this clip. He's playing this lick with slides. When I was younger I thought maybe he's playing this with double thumb, but you can really hear that he's sliding down and in this clip you can also see it. And he's sliding everything with his fourth with his pinky finger, so it sounds like that. It's two thumbs and then slide. So you could also play this line with the double thumb technique. So it would be... But this is without slides. So it would be... How I used to play it is that I played the downstroke with my thumb and the upstroke with my index finger. So it looks a little bit like that. I just feel more comfortable to play it like that instead of double thumb, but I just wanted to show you that there are a lot of possibilities to play a line like that. So let's play it again and listen to the full musical context. To 
play the last level, we are going to dive into the world of Mark King. His technique is a lot about slap and left hand slap or muting. He's also playing a lot of open E strings and for this lick we're also going to use the open E string. Um, it sounds like that. This lick is from the song Heathrow by Level 42 and actually they are playing this in F. But I think at the beginning it is cooler to play it in E. It's a little bit easier to get um, this movement done. I think the most difficult thing about this lick is that it doesn't start on the one with the thumb. So on the one you've got a left hand slap. And I think that's the difficult thing to get this done. So it is one, two, three, four, one. So I'm going to slow it down a little bit. One, two, three, four. So at the very beginning you've got the open string, then you've got a left hand slap, and then two muted slaps. That's the first part. And then you can add the low E string, the open E string. And that's the whole lick. Please um, have a listen to the song and try to get it done. It's a really cool song. So these were three slap licks that I think um, are really cool. And if you've got any questions or also recommendations, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And I hope to see you in one of the next videos. Bye everyone!